Welcome to Personal Growth with Julie. I'm happy to have you here today. So today's topic is going to be about how to stop arguments from escalating and getting out of control. I have five tips for you guys to help you guys get back on track when you and your partner get off track and things start to get a little heated. Tip number one is listen before you speak. I know that a lot of us only listen just enough to respond. And if you're one of those people that when you're having a conversation with someone, all you're thinking about is how you're going to respond and what you're going to say next, then you're really not listening. The goal here is we need to make our partner feel heard. So one way to do this is before you guys start talking, both of you to get on the same page about what type of conversation you're going to have. So one conversation is letting them know, saying, hey, let me talk for a couple minutes. Let me express my feelings. I don't want you to interrupt me. I want you to listen. And once I'm done, I want you to repeat back what I said to you. So I know that you understand me and you didn't misinterpret anything. And then after that, I'll give you your turn to speak and I'll listen and I won't interrupt. So it's good for both partners to get on the same page and know that you guys are going to have this constructive conversation where you guys make one another feel heard. What this does is one, it makes the partner who's speaking feel heard and understood. So they're not going to yell at you or, you know, interrupt you when you're talking or demand your attention. So all of that is out. And then two, it clears up any misunderstanding. Tip number two is focus on the issue and not your partner's character. I'll give you guys an example of focusing on someone's character. Focusing on someone's character is when you come up to them and you say, you know what, you left the dishes in the sink again the second time this week. You are so freaking lazy. What's the issue here? You called your partner lazy. Whenever you call your partner names like lazy or stupid or fat, no name calling, okay? When you call your partner any names, you are attacking their character. You are attacking them. You're letting them know, hey, we're about to fight. But when you focus on the issue and not their character, you're letting them know it's me and you against the problem, not me and you against each other. So an example of focusing on the issue would be saying, hey, you left this dishes in the sink again. This is starting to make me feel very unappreciated and taken advantage of. Now this leads to tip number three, I statements. Okay, sorry, it's kind of hard to see with the ring light, but I statements will save your life, okay? Because it makes your partner feel like they're not being attacked. So that means they don't have to go in defense mode. I statements are safe. I statements are basically saying, I come in peace. So whenever you're speaking to your partner, always, always try to translate what you're trying to say into an I statement. So instead of saying, you are lazy, you are dirty, you are this, you say, I feel, I feel unappreciated when you do this, or I feel really hurt when you do this, I feel upset when you do this. Tip number four, recognize when to tap out. No matter how hard you try to follow steps one through three, I know that sometimes things just get out of hand. It's really overwhelming when it gets to that point, so you need to know when you've had enough. Everyone is different. Certain emotions affect everyone differently. It, it depends on whether you're maybe more avoidant in conflict or you're more anxious in conflict. So I am more avoiding conflict so some emotions that i feel i feel overwhelmed confused numb and triggered whenever i've hit my cap and i'm like okay i need a time out it's important to know where you fall in the spectrum of anxious versus avoidant okay so when you are anxious you tend to feel a bit 
a lot of intense very intense emotions that almost take over your body okay so a lot of emotions like panic extreme anxiety uh having trouble to having trouble breathing so these emotions based off of what you are, you need to recognize when you start to feel like if you're more avoidant, when you start to feel a bit more confused, overwhelmed, trapped, that's when you need to say, okay, enough is enough. This isn't going anywhere. Let's take a break and come back to this. Tip number five. This is a bonus tip I have for you guys. This is if you follow steps one through four and you guys are still screaming at the top of your lungs, this is a last minute save me jar. I call this the love jar. Me and my partner, we developed this and this works amazing, I promise you. Pick a short five to 10 minute guided meditation, then talk. Okay, so this jar is full of little notes, things for us to do. And we filled it out with things that we enjoy doing. So you could, you and your partner can do the same. So we love meditations. We love taking walks. So I want you and your partner to do this on a good day. Make a date night out of it. Bring out some wine, bring out the jar and a full of papers and get creative and write down things that you and your partner really enjoy doing. Things that has brought you guys closer together in the past before and place this jar in a place where you guys fight the most. So for us, it's the living room. So we have this jar right in the middle of the coffee table. So when we're fighting, it's obvious it's right there. It's a quick fix. So we just grab it. And this helps us regulate ourselves, come back, get grounded, and then come talk to one another and actually respond and not react. All right, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for showing up for yourself. And I hope you learned something today. If not, at the very least, I hope I was entertaining. If you guys like this video, then like it. If you guys like me, then subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Mwah, mwah, mwah.